just put a box on top of another box just to copy the new shape Jeff made. So describe what those smaller boxes probably look like. What shape is the smaller box probably? A cube. Very good. Describe what the larger box probably is. What shape it probably is. A rectangular prism. Very good. A rectangular prism. Describe what your drawing should look like. What should your drawing look like? Um, an L that's just around the long side and then the side right of the two faces of the face facing up. Facing okay, very good. So it should look like the rectangular prism uh, box is laying over on its side. And it should look kind of like an L shape with the cube on top of the rectangular prism. Go ahead and get out your top colorful page and do that. Good job. I was looking for your rectangular prism right here with the cube sitting on top right here. So your drawing should have looked exactly like this drawing. But today, we're going to talk about how we can make that a little bit different. So let's take a look at the back side. First, it built the shape. So what two shapes did it use? Cylinder and a cube. Very good. It used a cylinder and a cube. Then it repeated it, which means it did the exact same shapes, the cylinder and the cube. And then it could have made something like this or this. Which one is the correct way it could have made something? Why the second one? Go ahead. Okay, very good. It's exactly like these two shapes, but they're close together and we flipped them upside down. Was my cube sitting beside my cylinder? No. No, it was not. So could I have chosen this one? No. no, because my cube was not sitting beside my cylinder. So even though I still have a cube and I still have a cylinder, you are right. This is not the shape that it should make. These two were sitting on top of each other. So this is the correct shape that it repeated. It just turned upside down and that is okay. So do you see how it is the exact same thing, except just a little bit different. It's just turned a little bit. That's what we're going to be doing today. So let's take a look at this first one again. What two shapes do I have? What? Very good. I have a rectangular prism and a cone. So I have, if I want to repeat it, what do I want again? The same thing. The works. same thing. I want another rectangular prism and another cone, right? So where do I have to repeat it at? In your, the same box. In your brain so that you know what it is. So it says build, so I did, and then I repeated it in my brain. <laughs> is this or this? the correct option. The second one. The second one. Why? Because you do it beside side each other. Okay, very and good. Very good. You're exactly right. The two rectangular prisms were beside each other and the cone was on top of the rectangular prism. Is this cone on top 
of this rectangular prism? No. No, it is not. So can this be the correct option? No. So do you see how careful we have to be? We had two cones. We had two rectangular prisms, but were they repeated in the correct way? No, they were not. So we're going to have to be careful about that today. Does everyone understand? Okay, you may go ahead and look at the next shape, repeat it in your brain, and then circle the correct one.